Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we make our stronger box strategy much better. We use the same scarabs as always. We use discernment, hidden compartments and three amber scarabs. And we use the same tree as before with all strong box uh, nodes here on the tree, of course, uh, and some altars, some map effect modifiers and uh, some shrine notes and map notes. Nothing special, absolutely not. But what we do in the map, we take of course ambush from the map device, is a little bit different and this um, works very well. I already tested uh, 10 maps and the results are really promising. So I will quickly show you what I'm doing. I'm not using uh, righteous fire now i try to get to the boss as fast as possible without killing mobs and this uh, is possible because i use a setup here which i use every league this is for heist normally and i use in this league i use face run automation with efficacy and more duration so we have a kind of perma phase run here as you see when it's off it uh, instantly goes back and we now run to the boss as quick as possible sometimes it's not so easy to pass through the mobs okay, like here yeah and we died wonderful um, no problem this happens oh, I would say every 10 maps and of course <laughs> when we are speaking about this and now I hope to get through here with my face run uh, this was a problematic case here we go and we are nearly at the boss and now no we aren't but it shouldn't be too far away now we use our righteous fire and kill everything this is the first step kill the boss without killing mobs and then the second phase is we open all bad boxes like blacksmith box here and oh, we can kill this hopefully <laughs> this is a map really <laughs> yeah these essence mobs aren't I'm not a big fan of them, but we got an amulet, very nice. And now we go through the map and open all bad boxes and leave the Arcanist strong boxes and the Diviner strong boxes for later. And we, the reason is we try to get some altars with quant and rarity. And this worked very well, the last maps I did, but maybe it won't work this map we will see there is a first altar yeah and there we we got a 22 percent quantity and 48 percent rarity we already have 228 rarity on our gear mostly with this flask here with uh, rarity found in combination with mage blood and a lot of items have rarity, so we already have a lot of rarity. And quant, we get through this, and now we can look for more altars, go through the map. This, those diviners and arcanist strong boxes we don't use yet. A little bit later, there's a leak mechanic, we can quickly do it. But this this map seems to be a little bit rippy, but hopefully we will stay. We will see. Um, this box is openable again. That's always nice. Um, but I think this openable again can't... Um, it is, isn't possible that you get an altar from the second or third opening, I think. But maybe i'm wrong please tell me if it's the case and here are the eldritch mobs and they should give us altars they do but this is not one of the interesting ones there is one we can take 
because it ruins our life regeneration, but... Okay, I told you, the map is a little bit wappy, but we have six portals that should be enough. And we continue. Um, and we have another box. I will stay a little bit by the side to not getting killed here. There's something bad in the box, but we continue another bad box here, armorous box. We open it and hope to get some altars. Only had one altar this map. Normally I would say you get two or three in the in most maps, and this is already something which makes the good boxes much better. I would say. I have the impression. Tell me if you don't agree in the comments. But uh, here is our next altar. It's not one of the good ones. Okay, we can take it. A bad box. There's a good box. This is for later. But we nearly reached the place we started this at the boss. And now we can open the good boxes. And hopefully that drops something of interest. We will see. Not really so far. Another Arcanist strong box. We want divine orbs. Nope. Not so far. Uh, here are boxes which we could have opened a second time, but I missed them. Mm. As you see, the mobs which get killed leave burning ground on the ground. Uh, they leave burning ground and that kills a lot of mobs which spawn there. Very nice mechanic. Uh, here's the Diviner Strong boxes, the best ones. Woo! <laughs> Nearly died a third time. But was it worth it? I don't know. Looks okay. Some uniques for disenchanting. This box then has to be one leftover mob. This one. And now it should be gone. Okay. We continue. There's another Arcanist strong box. Divine Orbs. Man, this map is rippy, really. And I think we are done with the map. I have to loot a little bit. But I think we opened all boxes. Wasn't such a great map. No, not really. But the other maps I already did are really great or, the, or were great yeah, as you see here and we have the direct comparison to uh, these two stash tabs where we did 22 maps with the same setup and now we've done 11 so another 11 are left and then I will show you the results see you then Yeah, we are finished with our project Advanced Strongbox Farming and I'm not so sure if the results are better. They should be. Uh, what we did was uh, using altars first and then open the interesting boxes like Arcanist and Diviner Strong Boxes. And pff, yeah, the results look good, but hmm, some divine, a lot of chaos. I changed in all the smaller currency for chaos orbs. Um, looks quite nice. Relatively m quite a lot of this Grand Eldritch Embers. A um, lot of maps. Um, so we've got some map sustain here. 14, 8 mod corrupted toxic sewer. A lot of ziggurat maps. Quite a lot of uh, scarabs which directly dropped in the map. And then we have here some scarabs from diff cards 
and some diff cards which you can sell. I think it's quite a lot. Here's some more of the good ones, of course. And then two Valdos puzzle boxes, one good scarab, and some really good divination cards like the Sephiroth, the Fortunate, Desecrated Virtue, very nice card, seven years bad luck, um, home and this card for Arakali's Fang. This is for sure the biggest drop, seven divine alone, very nice. But I'm not so sure if this is really substantially more than without this Alta technique, because you need uh, around a minute longer to uh, finish the maps, I would say and uh, you have to decide yourself if it's worth the effort. I like it, I think it's clever and I will continue doing this. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye.